अज्ञान मृंदस्य ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुन्मृत येन तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदाशिवदाक वंदेह श्री गुरो श्रीयतापदकमल श्री गुरोन वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सगृजात सहगणा रघुनाथ तम सजीव साधवैत सवदूत पर्यना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सहगणा लिता श्रीवशकन्वित हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कंता राधा कंता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांजन गौरांगी श्रीराधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वंचा गलभदुर्भ्य शुग्रवा सिंधुभ्य वच पतीता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधरा श्री वसदी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे हरे परमानंद Hare Krishna. Hope everyone is doing well. And uh, uh, only one question: How many devotees are Telugu devotees in this? I mean, Telugu speaking devotees, and how many don't speak Telugu? No, sir. Namaskar, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna, Ji. Namaste. So, what I'll do? I think you can say as far as I know, everyone is Telugu only, no? Except uh, Telugu, yes. Yes, Telugu. No, but I think you know, no, no. What somebody joins from California, Narsimhan Prabhu, and uh, they are Tamil. I know that. You know, <clears throat> they are today. They didn't join. You know. Krishna Prabhu Ji, Dandot Pranam. Oh yeah, yeah. You are also your Ori. Yes, Ori sir. I agree. So you are the another one. देवशिष प्रभु प्रियदर्शनी नरसिंहन प्रभु अंड वाइफ ई थिंक रेस्ट आल ई थिंक you know so i mean let us decide i have a request also you know winter months we can do the class at 8:30 your time and uh, that way my time is uh, 10 uh, morning and the summer months we can do at 8:00 uh, o'clock your time and my time will be 10:30 you know or we can always okay, or we can do always 8:30 only you know hey, but it's a for me it will be difficult but but i'm okay because that time it will be 11 o'clock you know in summers so 8 <clears throat> is better for you 8:30 everyone you think is okay any for india any time is okay 8 8:30 is okay prabhu ji in winters फॉर मी लाइक 
then my time will be 10 o'clock. That way I'll get a little, little time. Uh, <clears throat> so that, you know, it's a little easy for me, 10 o'clock. But summer months, because in America goes one hour advance, and it goes in advance, so 10.30, my time is perfect, actually. So that's what we will do, you know. So next week onwards, we will do this, your time 8.30, my time 10 o'clock. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, I mean, uh, hope everyone... Um, Krishna. Everyone enjoyed those of you attended Yatra. You all enjoyed Yatra. And uh, I'm sure. Yes, Prabhu. Uh, yeah. It was very good. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. And uh, hope everyone is keeping good health. Uh, you know, I mean, everyone has retained good health. Let me put it that way. <clears throat> Before going to Yatra, we were actually, we just finished second chapter and we came to third chapter. <clears throat> or if you want me to cover, you know, I just every day I would take only one hour class, but many stories. Um, uh, if you want, I can do one, two classes on that and then we can go back to Gita, whatever. But let me tell you, you know, before I start, Person practicing Bhakti Yoga should not have a desire to become one with God, merge in Brahman. Then they will never progress in Bhakti Yoga. Rupa Goswami is very clear on this. You know, Lord Chaitanya is also very clear on this. You know, <clears throat> Anuva never tried to become one with Ram and uh, enjoy Ram, the facilities of Ram. Bhakti Yoga means Bhakta is eternal, Bhagavan is eternal, the process of Bhakti is eternal. You know, so Jiva is Jiva. Krishna is Krishna. Jiva can never become God. You know, either, when you are liberated, you will be under the influence of Yoga Maya. When you are uh, conditioned, you will be under the influence of Mahamaya. <clears throat> Jiva is 10 power minus 4 tip of the hair. 9 is spirit soul. Because of that, uh, uh, because of the tiny, the tininess, he comes under the influence of uh, Maya, material energy. Mahamaya. So a person who utilizes his life or her life to become free from the influence of Maya, to become free from the grip of Maya, Mahamaya, that person's life is auspicious. Because they are trying. That, that type of person is called a Pratyagatma. He is your... He is, he wants to... <clears throat> that type of person, uh, a person who utilizes his life to become, uh, to revive his original constitutional position, in other words, to become puppet of Krishna, that life is auspicious. Otherwise, that person will become puppet of Maya only. What is Maya? Satisfying ego, satisfying senses, satisfying mind. You know? <clears throat> Whether you are you are you are worshiping to here and there or not, a person who satisfies his or her senses, a person who satisfies his mind or her mind, and uh, false ego, that person is uh, under the grip of Maya. Goal of human life is to become free from the grip of Maya, mental energy. It is not easy though for anybody. You know, <clears throat> it is not easy, but. Uh, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochitana Kamshati Sama Sarvesha Bhutesha Madhbhaktim Labhate Param. What is a Brahma Bhuta stage, liberated stage? Prasannatma. Always peaceful. Always happy. Nasochati. You know, you are, there is no lamentation. Okay, this is gone. That's okay. You have lost this. That's okay. I have not brought it anyway when I came to this world. Ena <clears throat> Kamshati. I don't have any desire. I don't have any desire to attain it. Sama Sarveshi Bhuteshu, you see Krishna in everyone's heart as Paramatma. So that is a Brahma Bhuta. Today we are Maya Bhuta. 
you know we interfere with our our mind and our senses we might interfere with our surroundings with our designations with our professions no you all should know i came to delhi airport and somebody called me from hyderabad this mataji left her body okay i i spoke to her only just thursday you know <clears throat> yeah, yeah she left so what is death the panchabhautik deham body made up of earth water fire air ether that will mix will will go and mix back with the panchabhutas that's it you know <clears throat> but before that happens the five elements with which the body is made up of it will mix with the five elements of the nature but what are the other things remaining anybody once the body made up of five elements uh, has mixed with the five elements outside earth into earth water into water air into air fire into fire ether into ether mixed then what is remaining jivatma and sanchita karma jivatma and sanchita karma jivatma for sure yes <clears throat> Uh, karma, yes. Or something more. Hare Krishna. Subtle body, Prabhuji. Subtle body. Mind. Mind. Ego and ego. Yes. <laughs> Subtle body. That's it. That's it. Right. Perfect. So, Prabhuji also right. Karma is there. Yes. Karma also remains. So, Spiritual our, body. Uh, Spiritual body. I'm a soul. I'm a soul has not attained a spiritual body yet. So, in the conditioned state, mm -hmm. so gross body is gone. What remains is subtle body and the soul. You know? So, Bhakti Yoga gives the subtle spiritual body to the soul, no doubt. But to that person, supposing is a, he or she is a conditioned soul, uh, that's what happens. Subtle body remains, uh, comprising mind, intelligence, ego, and the soul remains. But the, all the impressions, all the action and react, and all the impressions, all the desires, they are present in the mind. Desire to enjoy, independent of Krishna. That will take you to the next body based on your karma. You know? Karmana deva netrena jandar de hopapataye striya pravishya udaram pumso reta kanasraya. Then based on your desires, based on the karma, Collective and collective karma or individual karma, you will take birth on a particular time in a particular family. What does it mean? It means if you take birth there, you will be able to satisfy your certain of your desires, uh, some of your desires, and you will be able to give some happiness to them, some distress to them. I mean, share happiness, dis dis happiness and distress with the family members. But what is not fixed is. How much bhakti you will make, uh, how, how much progress you will make on the path, path of bhakti, that is not fixed. That is your endeavor. So, this is how we have been going on, the, how we have been traversing since the time immemorial. Happiness, distress, karma, good karma, bad karma, happiness, distress, good karma, bad karma, desire to enjoy independent of Krishna. Sometimes on a tamu gunve, sometimes on a raja gunve, sometimes on a sattva gunve. But when you come to path of you know bhakti yoga process, where <clears throat> you you receive training and you get to meet your spiritual master, and uh, who will take your karma and will connect you to the process. Like for example, Iskand, there are forty gurus. We preach pure bhakti yoga, you know. So and you practice bhakti under their guidance, under the guidance of the spiritual master. So, as you continue your practice, slowly, you become free from your illusions. You become free from uh, <clears throat> the misconceptions. And you get, rid of, you get rid of your bad karma first. But one should know this. If you want to go back to Godhead, you should not have any karma, good or bad. So, Krishna, at the end, he'll, he'll, he'll remove everything. And he'll keep only bhakti for you. 
then you develop a spiritual body like anuman did like mother lakshmi did archay vijay did or narmani did no narmani got you will also get a spiritual body and in that spiritual form we will go back to spiritual world you know goloke eva nivasati akilatma bhuta govinda madhya purusham tam vajami you know golok rudnavan krishna loka if you are connected to krishna you will go back to golok rudnavan if you are if you are attached to lord ram you will go to ayodhya point of vaikuntha if you are attached to vishnu or narayan you will go to the <coughs> vaikuntha planet where narayan or vishnu resides <coughs> that is a process so one should not expect uh, immediate results because uh, asangohi ayam purusha we are there in this material world for very long time our mind has received all these impressions of sense enjoyment so what do you have to do uh, slowly become free from uh, uh, and that desire to enjoy independent of krishna if somebody comes and gives you gulab jamun prasad there is nothing wrong honoring it because it's prasad you know but we have to orchestrate our life in such a way we become we spiritualize our life we krishna is our life that is the teaching of lord chaitanya so just give me one minute we will uh, <clears throat> so we'll see third chapter <clears throat> I think we started third chapter, right? <clears throat> yes, Prabhuji. Yeah, just give me one minute. Yes, Prabhuji, we did 3.1 and we discussed about Kula Shekhar. Mukundamala, we did. <clears throat> who will read the translation can somebody read on the screen anyone can read yes prabhu ji hari krishna arjuna said o janardana o keshava why do you want to engage me in this ghastly warfare if you think that intelligence is better than fruitive work my intelligence is bewildered by your equivocal instructions therefore please tell me decisively which will be most beneficial for me mm, arjuna is confused i actually am so can continue please read this perform your prescribed duty for doing so is better than not working one cannot even maintain one's physical body without work yes so arjuna is telling you know <clears throat> so second chapter krishna krishna is telling buddhi yoga buddhi yoga and krishna said you are not the body or spirit soul and uh, <clears throat> you know so if i am a spirit soul and uh, goal of life is to purify the impurities and you are telling practice bhakti yoga and purify your intelligence and why should i fight you know that will put me again in a bondage you will get karma by killing people so tell me intelligence is better you know what is better you know so you want me to fight 
or you want me to purify my senses? If you want me to purify my senses, fighting is not good because that will bind me. You know? So, in other words, Arjuna is trying to very carefully avoid You know, I told this last time, but I'll just repeat. You know, <clears throat> so many people in India, I cannot say many, um, <clears throat> we see this in the pilgrim places of pilgrimage. Spirituality is not a, uh, is not just begging and sitting by the side of the road and uh, no, and then you'll become a burden to the society. People will start developing negativity towards you. So, spirituality is not about giving up work. Spirituality is about uh, giving up the desire to enjoy independent of Krishna, giving up the results for the pleasure of Krishna. I don't know how many of you understood that. Tyaga is better. You know? What is better? Tyaga. What is Tyaga? Tyaga means you work, but you give, the, the, give up the result for the pleasure of Krishna. That is better. Not giving up the work. What has to be given up? You know? Controlling mentality has to be given up. You know? Claiming the proprietorship over the result has to be given up. Okay, now you say you're a doctor, you performed operation. It was so difficult operation. It was successful. Then you say, Krishna, thank you very much. Because of your grace, the operation went very well. Then you'll ask a question. Are you so hard to work with the operation? Or where is Krishna coming into picture? Right? Anyone has got, anyone got this question? And you know, it's like a software engineer. You moved the software into production for, after working for two months. You know, so where is Krishna in this role? So why should I give the result to Krishna? Anyone has any question on this? Or anyone has answer? Who will answer? Why should I give credit to Krishna when I worked? Uh, Krishna is in the form of intelligence. Krishna is in the form of intelligence, okay. Based on Krishna's mercy only, every creature is working. Based on Krishna's mercy only, every, everyone is working. Okay. Why should I give why should I give credit to Krishna? Anybody? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji in the seventh chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that he is the strength of the strong mm. and due to him only um, he is the fragrance of the earth and is the heat in the fire so mm. maybe due, maybe not maybe it's the fact that due to krishna only everything is happening that's I mean, why what, what you're telling that, me but i say no past two months i'm working very hard or you know uh, i studied for this many years i learned uh, i learned uh, i learned how to operate so with so such a precision i have operated where is krishna coming to picture Somebody asks, what will you say? He's giving the strength, Prabhuji. He's giving the strength. Okay. Okay, fine. Somebody else? Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Mm. There are many things that which are not under our control. Mm. What we think that we are able to do it. Mm. But there are many things which are not under our control or our perception also. Mm. Those things only if Krishna make it mm. convenient only, we will be able to do it. Amazing. Very nice. Wonderful. Anybody else? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just curious. What is your mindset? 
प्रभु जी नॉट मेनी थिंग्स एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग वी आर आई मीन एवरीथिंग इज अंडर कंट्रोल बाय लॉर्ड कृष्णा ओनली दैट्स वे आई सेड द मर्सी ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा बेस्ड ऑन मर्सी ओनली एवरी क्रिएचर इज डूइंग देयर ड्यूटीज इफ कृष्णा शो मर्सी देन ऑल डोर्स आर ओपन इफ नॉट ऑल डोर्स आर क्लोज्ड वी कांट डू एनीथिंग अ माइंड वोंट वर्क हार्ट वोंट वर्क एवरीथिंग बेस्ड ऑन कृष्णास मर्सी ओनली ओके he is the creator prabhu ji he is the creator for each and everything so he mm-hmm. is the creator he is the enjoyer so we are the part and parcel of krishna we are under the control of krishna hmm are krishna prabhu ji dhanyavad pranam dhanyavad pranam prabhu ji tell me if we give it to krishna manu manu jodu karma siddhantam nundi mukti ni vadagalu karma siddhantam telugu lo cheptunna karma siddhantam nundi manu mukti ni vadagalu okay and then हाँ मैं ना क्वेश्चन एंड एंड है व्हाई शुड आई गिव क्रेडिट अच्छा अच्छा यू मीन आई वंडर इफ आई गिव क्रेडिट टू कृष्णा यू विल बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम कर्म अंडर रहा ओके ओके फाइन वेरी नाइस एनीबडी एल्स हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी इट इज कृष्णा हु इज इन द डॉक्टर डिड द सर्जरी डॉक ओके इट इज कृष्णा हु इज इन द हार्ट ऑफ द डॉक्टर and he did the service okay very nice anybody else i mean if you don't i mean if you want like and i think we we'll land we we'll land it here let me answer <clears throat> the answer is <clears throat> for anything to happen 18th chapter bhagavad gita five things should be there i told this actually i one two class before for anything to happen actually what are all the you know all the everyone who has given the answer uh, very nice perfect uh, but let me add nice answers everyone has given so for anything you are all you are able to see me anything to happen for any activity to happen krishna says in gita five things are needed how many five things five things what is the first one you have a soul you should have a desire you should desire that okay i want to perform my operation or i want to move the software into production or i want to go to okay. so that the what is that the desire for the soul one two just mere desire is not enough second one adishtanam utilize body utilize body uh, to achieve that goal to achieve that result three engage your senses you know engage your senses to achieve that goal in this case um like you know <clears throat> you sit before the computer turn it on enter the password start writing the you know start coding or bring all the what is that instruments to perform the operation you know uh, then equip yourself bring everything uh to perform the operation the next one different fourth one is different types of endeavors means you know uh how do i reach that place you know if it's that place is very inaccessible but i have to i have to cut it and remove that part you know <clears throat> um so you will use you will make different types of endeavors to attain that to complete that operation these four are from your side but the fifth one is from krishna's side sanction if krishna does not sanction paramatma daivam chaivatra panchamam if krishna sanction is not there you will not get the result apart from actually somebody said uh, you know we are part and parcel of krishna all right actually no matta smriti gnanam apohanancha no mother you said uh, i am the strength of the strong perfect from me knowledge comes from me forgetfulness comes when krishna gives you remembrance instead of forgetfulness then you will know how to perform the operation if krishna does not give you that uh, intelligence to perform the operation if he withdraws then you cannot perform sometimes you all have the experience hey what is your name i forgot well i mean um, it's on my tongue i i am able to recollect your name i i know you very well what's your name uh, so means what paramatma is holding that information from you 
So Makta Sprati Jnana Vapoha Namcha. You know, Sprati comes, memory comes from Krishna, knowledge comes from Krishna, forgetfulness also comes from Krishna. That's why when people go to exam, you need the grace of Krishna also. But <clears throat> according to the sloka I told, you need to have a desire to pass nicely. You need to study nicely. And uh, you need to go to exam hall and write the exam. I mean, it's different endeavors. But the sanction has to come from Krishna. That uh, you will do, you will get this many marks. And when Krishna awards it, you will get that money. The sanction is the keys with Krishna. That's why many of you have experienced certain areas you put very little result, you get the result. I mean, very little effort, but you get the result. Certain areas you move literally earth and heaven, still a failure. Why? It's because there Krishna sanction is not there, but here Krishna sanction is there. Sometimes, you know, people don't get result even two years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years. What is the, then what should we do? Wait, wait, wait. You need to wait. You need to wait. Grace has not come yet. Krupa has not come yet. So, <clears throat> Krishna is telling in Bhagavad Gita third chapter, Karma Yoga, hey, perform your prescribed duty. <clears throat> it's important. You know, <clears throat> doing, perform, executing your prescribed duty is better than not working. So you cannot even maintain your physical body without work. Krishna is making it very clear. But there is a saying, I mean, I told this when we were going to somebody's home in Hyderabad, actually, in the car, I told. One day, <clears throat> um, my, my, my spiritual master, he went and addressed probably six, nine, 900, six, 900 people, chartered accountants. He gave a lecture about the importance of spirituality. And he said, any question? Any question? Then one boy got up. As soon as the boy got up, everyone clapped because this boy is, he was very intelligent. Then he got up and said, Sir, you are bogus. Your lecture is bogus. I don't believe in all these things. If everyone becomes a monk like you, who will build the bridges? Who will, uh, <clears throat> you know, who will become, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, who will become the administrators, who will become the professors, who will become the doctors, who will become the engineers, who will, be, who will maintain the roads, who will do the, what is that, <clears throat> who will rule the state? You're bogus. It's not practical. When he said that, everyone clapped. There's 900 uh, chartered accountant student, chartered accounting students. It's a challenge to him. Then he, my, my Guru Maharaj asked him, what do you do, sir? He said, I'm studying CA, Chartered Accountancy. Once you pass, what will what, what, what you will become? He said, I'll become a Chartered Accountant. My spiritual master said, if everyone will become a Chartered Accountant, who will build the bridges? Who will take care of the administration? Who will take care of the hospitals? Who will take care of the, I mean, take care of the patients? And who will take care of... Uh, Educating the students, you need teachers, you need professors. You also need chartered accountant, but you also need a monk who can tell you how to translate your work into karma into karma yoga for the pleasure of supreme, for the pleasure of God, so that you can come out of cycle of birth and death. Otherwise, you'll keep on performing work only. And uh, you, you will go through different species. You're understanding? Then he said, practically more people clapped. You know, because, you know, yes, society needs everyone, but society also needs a monk who can tell you how to work, the, how to do the same work for the pleasure of Supreme, for the pleasure of Krishna, so that your karma, your activity will become karma yoga, which will be liberating, which will be purifying you and your family. Otherwise, you'll keep on 
uh, working, 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 make money, give the, give the money to children, you die. That is the goal of life. Because there is no guarantee you'll get the human life, next life, right? But in India, some people are there. They say work is worship. Karmanyavadigaraste. First of all, the meaning Karmanyavadigaraste does not mean work is worship, first of all. You know? And many people said this. In India, work is worship. No. For the work to become worship, you have to really, really ask these questions. How many of you want to hear the answer? When will our work become worship? Do you want to hear? Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhu. First of all, work is not worship. Because Duryodhan worked so diligently hard. You know, Duryodhan was very talented actually. In fact, uh, that was one of the reasons Maharaj Yudhishthir laments. Duryodhan was ruling very well. You know, I went and, you know, I quarreled and I was the reason for all the deaths of all these people. Duryodhan, that is a good heart of Maharaj Yudhishthir. So Duryodhan was very talented. I have a question for all of you. You know, will you name your child or grandchild Duryodhan? <laughs> no. Why? Why you cannot name your child or grandchild Duryodhan? Duryodhana is such a talented person. Duryodhana has seen Krishna, son of, uh, son of uh, Dhritarashtra. Why? It's because Duryodhana was envious. He may be working very hard. He may, he may be working with talent. He may be working very hard. But he was, pers he was doing that work to satisfy and to gratify his envy, his greed, his pride. But my question to all of you, will you name your child or grandchild Arjun? Huh? Yes, Prabhuji. No. Yes, Prabhuji. Somebody said no. <laughs> Who said no? Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah. So because Arjun, though he did not want to fight the battle, because it is supreme order, it's Krishna's order, you know, whether I like it or not, I will do it. Because my Lord, it is your desire. Krishna, it is your desire, I will do it. So anyway, coming back to the coming back to the question, when will the work become worship? In other words, how do you spiritualize your career? Like, you know, so we have in the call, we have professors, we have doctors, we have engineers, we have software, you know. Um, so we have all types of people in the call. You know, so you are working, outsiders are working. You are, you have family, outsiders have a family. You know, so you have a home to maintain, our children to maintain. They have a home and children to maintain. Then what is the difference? How you are different from them? You are doing the same activity. How your activities are liberating and how their activities are binding. How Duryodhana activities were liberate and binding how Arjuna's activities were liberating. Both are fighting war. Very simple. Arjuna was fighting for the pleasure of Krishna. Duryodhana was fighting for his false ego. Ankar. True ego, true ego means I am servant of Krishna. False ego means I am the doer. There is nobody in this world. I am the, I am the control, I am the master, I am the doer. That is ego. I am false ego. So, the answer lies here. If you, first of all, you need to be righteous. Our exact word for righteousness is dharmic. Uphold dharma. Protect dharma. Protect bhakti. You know? And second one gives the results. Okay, you're making money. Uh, what is the result of your work? Some name and fame, some money. Give it to Krishna. As much as you can. Resources. And it is, it is not easy to remember Krishna during working, during the time of working. But very important, what do you do after the work? It's very important. Remaining time. 
So when you come home, finish your rounds. You know, nine to five you worked, and you you came you know you come home by six, and you have to deal with how do you deal with your family members? This is a gift of Krishna. Let me serve him or her. If you take care of them between six and ten, that's also bhakti. And lower levels of karma yoga. Only difference between karma yoga and uh, bhakti yoga is this. Karma yoga is attached to a particular type of work. Bhakti yoga is not attached. Krishna wants me to do it, I'll do it. Krishna doesn't want me to do that, that activity. Maybe it's pious, still I won't do. That's the only difference between karma yoga and bhakti yoga. So anyway, so when you are working, understand Krishna is in control. You know, Krishna is the Supreme Lord. That point you remember. And when you come home, uh, the remaining time, okay, morning I, I did my puja, evening I'll do nonsense. That is not, that's wrong. If you really want to discipline yourself, you have to discipline yourself whole day, whole week, whole year, and the rest of the life. So, uh, we don't, I mean, Bhagavad Gita doesn't encourage do puja in the morning and uh, become an alcoholic in the evening. That's not wrong. You do everything for the pleasure of Krishna. 95 you worked. Great. And uh, then with that money, you get money and the salary. Pay the mortgage or pay the rent and take care of Krishna given family members. Then that work will become spiritualized. Work will become worship. In the evening when you come, if you deal with family members, you are, this is my child, my, 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 it will create bondage. This Krishna given child, let me take care of him or her. Krishna given spouse, let me serve her. That is Bhakti Yoga. At 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you want to take rest. I want to do this, all these activities tomorrow for the pleasure of Krishna. For that, I need to give a little rest to the body. And if you sleep, that sleep also bhakti, Harival. Everyone is listening or not? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhuji. So, so, so Krishna, what is that? The Bhakti Yoga process, you know, Krishna Bhakti Marga, it demands a 24 by 7 uh, a dedication to Krishna and, and his ideals. Krishna Seva. So, if you follow these four things, then your work will become spiritual, spiritual. Who will repeat whatever I said uh, with simple sentences? If we want to make our work, or if you want to make our karma into karma yoga, what should we do? Huh? Protect bhakti, give contribution to Krishna. Bhakti yoga do not get attached to work. Okay. Uh, Prabhuji, whatever we do, we have to do uh, as if we are doing service to Krishna. Whether it is work or whether it is uh, serving the family members, anything is like a service to Krishna. Yes. You know, whatever you do means uh, one should not say, I am drinking for the I am drinking alcohol for the pleasure of Krishna. That is wrong. That's why the first word is righteousness, dharmic, protect dharma. You know, uh, so Matiyama, you said something, third thing wrong that I, I felt it is not so right. What did you say the third line? Third thing you said. So do, not, do not get uh, attached to the work, I said. Uh, it should be like, a, not karmic, uh, but uh, in the bhakti yoga we need to be, Prabhuji. I said, do not be attached to the work. No, as long as you perform the work for the pleasure of Krishna, uh, satisfaction of Krishna, that is fine. There is no question of uh, any attachment there, actually. Anyway, nobody is attached to work. Everyone is attached to the money that work gives. 
so that you can maintain your family and enjoy right as simple as that so um, so what are the four things you have to do so that your work will become worship one has to be spiritual in in personal life the the results of the work come then the results of the work when the results come you should give it to krishna guru or krishna my by my my guru maharaj mercy by krishna's mercy i got the result second thing when you are work while working i should remember krishna is in control krishna is in intelligence you know uh, <clears throat> Krishna is in control of everything. If you have that consciousness and knowledge, then that is Bhakti Yoga. <laughs> On lower levels, Karma Yoga. So remember, uh, remember that Krishna is in control and the remaining time, how do you use your remaining time? Avyardha Kalatvam devotees on the bond the advanced stage they don't excuse me they don't even waste one moment it is krishna's time i should diligently utilize it for krishna service if you do these four things sincerely <clears throat> if you do this you know four things diligently then you are giving a, you you know uh, then you are trying to make your work as worship clear or not yes prabhu ji prabhu ji yes prabhu ji okay thank you so I, I mean, when I said this, what is the easiest way of remembering Krishna? Lord Chaitanya said, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. When you remember Krishna's name, you are remembering Krishna actually. <laughs> so that is one application. What is that application? Chanting the holy name. <clears throat> If you sincerely chant the holy name of Krishna, Krishna will protect you. You know. So that, but there is one more application. What is that application? What is there on the screen? Prashadam. That's it. So if there are no rains for 10 years and no sunshine for 10 months, can you manufacture a carrot in the laboratory? No, Prabhu. So Krishna is giving through nature all the foodstuffs. Krishna is giving intelligence to you to make money. To make money and spend it for the pleasure of family members, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. What did I say? First of all, I said if there are no rains for 10 years and no sunshine for 10 months, we cannot manufacture a carrot, a beetroot, a piece of green in the laboratory. You all agree with that, right? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to tell is, uh, how to tell thanks to Krishna? Offer food to Krishna. Krishna says in Gita, Patram Pushpam Falanto Yum Yome Bhaktiya Prayachati Tadaham Bhakti Bharatam Asana Prayatatma. So you take a plate like this, take a few cups, and fill them with uh, rice dal sabji and other items, whatever you have made. Hello? 
మన మీద తయారు చేసి ఒక పదార్థంగా దేవుడికి ఇస్తేనే మనం ఆఫర్ చేసినట్టు ఆయన మనకు ఆల్రెడీ ఇచ్చిన ఫ్రూట్స్ అవి పెడితే అది నేచర్ దేవుడు ఇచ్చినయే కదా ఇచ్చినయే మళ్ళీ ఆయనకే పెట్టినట్టు అవుతుంది తప్పేం లేదండి ఇట్స్ నా దర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ రాంగ్ బికాస్ హియర్స్ గివెన్ యూ ఫ్రూట్ త్రూ ద నేచర్ అండ్ గివింగ్ దట్ ఫ్రూట్ బ్యాక్ టు కృష్ణ ఇట్స్ ఆల్సో ఆల్సో ఆఫరింగ్ ఇట్ ఆల్సో అదే దట్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ఈక్వల్ టు you know offering uh, okay and i'll give an example you should i give an example meer unnaru you have your children you go to you know after work you go to a shop you'll buy a chocolate and you'll give to your child <coughs> you know you'll give to your son every day is eating but one day what he will do he'll put it in your mouth dad you eat oh you become very you become ecstatic why should you be happy you you know it is your money you went to market you purchased chocolate <laughs> you gave it to your child but what is making you happy i am unconditionally loving my child and uh, he realized it and uh, he is yeah, actually he is reciprocating with that so that that thought will make you happy same thing krishna is giving through nature food stuffs krishna is giving you intelligence to make money to buy food stuffs so okay fruits you purchase from market you wash it you cut it and you offer it to krishna krishna accepts it that is also offering adu kuda naivedya you know but you made a point cooking yeah we don't offer outside evaro evaro vandinda man naivedyam pettam we cook we offer vegetarian of course we put a tulsi leaf in that and we offer it to krishna that is offering actually you know so if you ganga la gelar and you are standing in ganga you take little water ganga water and you offer it to ganga hey ganga you will get the benefit there is nothing great about it actually you are standing in ganga you pick it up little water ganga water and you pour hey ganga but ganga accepts it because you made an endeavor to pick up ganga water and offer it back to ganga so likewise nature is giving you fruits okay you buy them nobody leave free of cost anyway you buy them come home off wash them cut them into you know you know cut them nicely and put a tulsi leaf and offer it's a preparation too because you are not sometimes people don't even remove the uh, what is that so they offer it as it is now ipudu somebody gives you apple and you know okay thank you but somebody cuts it removes the seeds inside and cuts it and brings it to you so ah oh, thank you because there is some endeavor krishna sees the endeavor okay okay and so my question to you so you are you are cooking for two hours add another 10 minutes to make an offering you know put a tulsi leaf like that and you offer this food whatever you cook vegetarian non and no garlic offer it you do like this for one month when you see the plate and the, you keep this cups exclusively for krishna you will see krishna in the cups as soon as you see the cup you'll remember krishna hey this is krishna's cup huh? and if you say uh this is krishna's kitchen when you have invited krishna in your heart he came into your puja room that's why you're chanting now so you're chanting so krishna entered into your puja room now you want krishna to enter into kitchen after what is the area where you spend a lot of time kitchen so you are cooking two hours offer for 10 minutes and then that offering becomes a, that food becomes a sanctified purified it will become prasad so in other words the kitchen is meant for krishna's pleasure not my pleasure if you do this for one month when you go to the kitchen you will see krishna in the stove also hey this is krishna stove this sink is for krishna this plates are for krishna everything is for krishna that is how you are spiritualizing your home if you deal with your children or spouse this is my wife my husband my kids it will create bondage because you are thinking you are dealing with them because they are they came from you that will create bondage yes they came from me but they are still దైవం చైవాతర పంచమం కృష్ణ శాంక్షన్ వాజ్ దేర్ 
So they are Krishna's gift. If you serve them, whether it is your wife or husband or children, if you serve them, you will spiritualize your relationship too. Hare Krishna. So if you lead your whole life for the pleasure of Krishna, if you do every activity for the pleasure of Krishna, that act, or if you do every karma for the pleasure of Krishna, that becomes a karma yoga. Understanding or not? Understanding, right? It's so, so, then what happens? You, you can be a CEO, you can be uh, what is that? A uh, uh, businessman, you can be a billionaire, you can be a multi karodpati that's fine. But if you lead life like this, you're getting purified. And you'll go back to Godhead. Everyone, repeat. Evam pravartitam chakram Evam pravartitam chakram Anuvartayati haya who did the translation? My dear Arjuna, one who does not follow in human life the cycle of sacrifice thus established by the Vedas certainly leads a life full of sin. Living only for the satisfaction of the sins, such a person lives in vain. Mm. So when people do not know what is the goal of what the goal of life is, then what they will do? They will live for the enjoyment of senses only. In my childhood, people would say, next two, work, two years work very hard. And you get into medical or engineering. Rest of the life you can enjoy like anything. Hare Krishna. So they are telling, do tapasya for only two years. 10th, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. And uh, get into medical or engineering, you can enjoy the rest of the life. With your senses. That is wrong. A person who leads the life, Krishna is telling us, you know, akhayu, sin, indriya arama, if you try to satisfy your indriyas, that life is wasted. If you see in the society, 99% of nine people, nine, so 99% of nine, so 99.9%. .9%. Everyone leads the life for the sense enjoyment or the, for the pleasure of their children, you know, for the pleasure of family. <clears throat> so, uh, so what is that? Uh, but lead the life for the pleasure of Krishna. We can, you know, you offer you initially. You can, you know, okay, you cook rasgulla, offer it to Krishna and eat. Why not? That is bhakti too. You know, mm, what is that? Um, <clears throat> You know, you, if, if you want to have a big home, you can have a big home. You want to have a car, you can have a car. There's nothing wrong if your status demands. But the goal of Vedic life is a simple living and high thinking. Why it is simple living and high thinking? Utilize human life to cleanse the heart. Get rid of envy, get rid of anger, get rid of pride. You know, rather than abusing senses, control the mind and senses. You can control your mind and senses only when you work for the pleasure of Krishna. Otherwise, a ghair indriyarama will commit sinful activities. You know, people today, you know, everyone does wrong, so it is wrong, is wrong, has become right. No. You know, human life is life of responsibility. In the, when I went to the home of uh, Ramakrishna Prabhu and Pramodhi Mata, I told Yamada the story actually. Right? I have a few more stories like that. Real stories actually. Now somebody is watching us. You know? Can somebody see this picture? <clears throat> okay, family members, weekend is coming. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Night time is wasted in uh, you know, gambling, alcoholism, sex life. You know? 
parting. I loved this picture actually. What is family members? Everyone is seeing the screen. Yes, yes Prabhuji. So imagine this is this is your family. Let's just I'm just giving an example. Any family actually. So not that we came on, uh, we all came together on the same day, right? No, it's like a train. Family is like a train journey. Different people get into the compartments and they'll get down. And so after some time, they, one person will get down. Means what? What does it mean? One person will leave the family. And after some time, another person will get down. Or a Krishna. So when you know a big sannyas in Iskan, he said, two things everyone has to do. Two. Uh, discomforts everyone has to go through in, the, in their lives. Everyone in this world. One, you will lose your loved ones for sure. Two, you have to go through unexpected changes. These two things everyone has to go through. Can somebody repeat what I said? What are the two things, do two discomforts will go through? First one. We have to lose our loved ones. Yes, thank you. Second one? We have to face unexpected challenge, changes in our life. Definitely. You, I mean, if you agree what I said. Yes, Prabhuji. For sure. Prabhuji. So, but, but keep Krishna in the center. You know, you chant the holy name, offer food to Krishna, read one verse of Bhagavad Gita, we also enjoy, we enter Yatra, you know. Prasad was good, we are visiting holy places, nice relationships, devotees were good, people were coming in the morning program, coming in the morning program. It was a joy, definitely it's a joy. It's not that we don't enjoy, we actually we enjoy more, you know. So much of Prasad, so much of, you know, dancing, Kirtan, service. Because that's that is the process Lord Chaitanya Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given. Kevala Ananda Kanda. You know, we are not telling anybody to go to forest and beg like Arjuna was wanting, planning to do. No, stay. Stane Sthita Sthita Tanvan Manobir. Stay where you are and add Krishna to your life. So what is the advantage of, you know? Uh, <clears throat> so then what happens? You'll have better relationships actually. You know, if you become spiritual, if you become a you know, Bhakti Yogi, Krishna conscious person, you know, you'll have a better life actually. So we'll end it here. Any question or comment otherwise we'll end it. So we'll end it here too. Thank you very much and we'll continue next week. I have only one request. How many of you have Bhagavad Gita as it is? And uh, please read the third chapter when you come. First read, first, second, third chapters. Please read. You know, at least third chapter. Because a person who cultivates the habit of reading, especially Bhagavad Gita, you'll get a lot of grace. Read only 5-10 minutes, not more than that. 15 minutes, maximum. That'll give you an insight into what life is all about. So thank you very much. I'm ending now. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu Hare Krishna Prabhu Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji thank you Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Ram Ram Hare Krishna Bada Laskar Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare